Uh, couldn't be happier. You know, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking uh, in the travel back, I knew how hard this game was going to be. And I, this team, uh, this is a very well coached, very good veteran team. It's going to win a bunch of games, uh, picked to win their league, been in the NCAA tournament. And we're on fumes a little bit. I'll give the guys a little bit of a break. It, it, it wasn't our best game, but uh, uh, they fought and they did enough. They fought and they did enough and uh, couldn't be happier uh, with the outcome. Beating a good team like that, it's a lot like a conference game. So beating a good team like that, it's a lot like a conference game and just proud of the guys uh, uh, getting it done. Questions for Coach? <clears throat> Bring a lot of bells to answer in this game, too. As you mentioned, Wright State never really went away. You were able to get some runs out of them, they would answer. What do you think the key was, especially in that last stretch that you had to uh, clinch this one? You have to have quality possessions. You know, we needed to get to the bonus. But the biggest, we, we made a lot of mistakes defensively tonight, even though we held them uh, to 38, I think it was, a, a field goal. But you can see even the communication there at the end, and they get an open, their best shooter gets an open three. We gave him a couple early. But, uh, you know, we're not a great individual one-on-one -on -one defensive team, so we have to do it as a team. And that's kind of where we've – uh, bought in on it, and their their, their preparation's been better because it needs to be. Um, knowing your opponent a little better really helps, and yeah, the staff's been doing a great job with their scouts and getting them ready to do it. But uh, I would say that on the defensive end, they got some offensive rebounds there in a spurt, so we start needed to finish possessions and quit fouling. But on the offensive end, the way they guard, it's it's a lot like a lot of the teams in our league. It's not going to look pretty all the time. You know, you're going to have to make individual plays. You're going to have to move the basketball a little more than we did tonight. Uh, but we did. We had guys step up and, and make enough plays to win the game. It's funny you mention the defense because I watched this game and I didn't think the defense that you guys played was that bad. Do you feel like the team? I appreciate that. Do you, do you feel like the team had, do, but do you feel like you raised the standards for this team based yeah, well, on the way they played? In the you've been around me long. You've been around me long enough. Mm -hmm. I, I expect perfection down there at that end, you know, and it's. Um, you put a lot of time in, and if you focus on on what you have to do and follow the game plan, I wasn't, you know, we got, again, we're not a great individual defensive team, so you better do it as a team, and if one guy screws up, it's an easy basket. And um, if we go through and 90, 90% of our possessions are, are, are high quality, that's pretty good, but then I'll probably be complaining and showing them the clip tape of the, the mistakes they made. It's, it's gotten a lot better, obviously, there's no question, but the biggest thing is they're just working hard. You know, they're... Uh, I think we were on fumes at times last night, or, uh, tonight, but they just they stuck their nose in there and they kept competing and, and did what they had to do to win. Andre Richmond didn't have a perfect defensive game, but you made Loudon Love work, and you never let him become comfortable down there. Can you talk about his effort? Bronson also did too. When he was in the He's been guarding good. We, you know, from from Western Kentucky to the two the two bigs at. Uh, at, uh, at San Jose are really good, really talented, just watching those guys uh, do, do their warm-ups and stuff. So he's been doing a good job defensively, and he gets tired uh, like anybody else. But if you're having to carry around 290 pounds like that guy was tonight, uh, that'll tire you out too. He's doing some good things. He's getting better all the time, and i got to stay more positive with him uh, for, the, for the mistakes that he makes. But uh, a guy like that, you can't give him an angle. You know, and I think in, in the last three games, really the only time we've been hurt inside is if you give them a quick one on an angle and just don't give them a, up an angle, make the guy score over you. That guy's going to score anyway. You know, I mean, he's going to get some of his. You're not going to shut him out. But I thought Dre, as well as Bronson, did a good job on him. And of course, Jordan uh, returns today. And, uh, it's always nice to have him in your back pocket. For yeah, one guy had fresh legs, and we wrote him. <laughs> we wrote, he's not going to have fresh legs now, but, uh, you know, he, he didn't practice a lot. And, uh, uh, for about a week and a half, but uh, he's a good basketball player. And against him, and Ty they, he had 24, Tyreek had 17, and their whole game plan was to take those two guys away. That's just how good those guys are. And it's going to get better because, again, it, when you, you have to move the ball against good defensive teams. It's got to get sideline to sideline. Those two aren't just going to be able to dribble it down and come off a ball screen and get a basket. So we got to, we're, there's a lot of improvement uh, we need to do on that. But uh, those are two good basketball players. And when you get the guys around you elevating like they are, uh, it's, it bodes well for us. How much do you think Jordan derives enjoyment from the fact that you know they, they were trying to body him, they were running you know, love, love out at him on the perimeter quite a bit. But he doesn't need a whole lot of space. No. Shot off, and he seems to relish the chance to show the opposing defense. He, that I, don't, I don't need a whole lot of space. He's got guts, and he's he's ultimately confident in, in what he can do, and he wants the big moments. I mean, it, it's recruiting. After we got him committed, I think he hit game six game winners in a, in a month in, in in July. He wants those moments. He loves those moments, and a lot like Odom, 
you know, you look at Odom or you look at uh, JB, everybody wanted to beat him up. But, but, but Jake th was, he thrived off that, and so does JB. He wants those guys to come and think they're going to body him because he's buying, he's getting, he's getting an open one. He took, a, he took a quick shot there with a couple minutes left. I got mad at him or without, you know, we could move the ball, we could run it towards the end of the clock. But other than that, he was pretty darn good. The young boxer came in with some nice plays too today. Does his contribution kind of embody the, the, the way some of these guys that you were hoping to get contributions from have kind of stepped up a little bit during this uh, good run he's been on? Well, I'm on him a lot. I mean, he's got still got no idea how hard to play, you know, and he's coming along and he made some effort plays there at the end. He made game-winning type plays. Um, he's got to be, you know, the freshmen, it's hard for them scouting reports and learning my opponent and knowing every guy uh, on the scout because you might be guarding any of those guys. Miscommunication there, him and Clayton and at the end of the clock. But uh, he's going to keep coming. You know, he's playing against really good players uh, every day. And he, he, he grew up a little bit tonight. I know he's happy too, making some free throws there at the end. But those other guys, Clayton, he's had enough experience and he's confident enough. And Elante's played in a lot of big games. Um, I'm not worried about those guys at all, but with you, uh, towards there at the end when they were playing small, we had to play smaller. We had to have D out there, and he stepped up. I thought it was interesting that Clayton probably scored the most important bucket on that leaner they had because he got called for a charge in a very similar play earlier in the half. And I'm thinking to myself, he had three fouls at the time. Like, is that a play you want to risk at that point? But you also don't want him to not be aggressive and have yeah. amnesia about it. And I guess that can get you worn out. He, yeah, he had, and he had a bad for it first half, turning it over. And I think, again, these guys, they had some travel, you know, and these guys uh, uh, didn't have 100% of their energy and their juice that they needed tonight. But right there, they're denying JB to get the ball back. They're denying Tyreek, and somebody else has got to go make a play. And we got guys that can do that. And that was a tough basket. He, he, I don't know if he what he did there at half court. He was hobbling around. All of a sudden, the ball uh, comes in his hands. He puts his head down, gets there, and makes a smart play with a good pivot. Uh, Coach Carey's been working on those guys with their pivots. So it was a good, that was a big basket for sure. This team has won five in a row. You beat two conference favorites in this stretch. Um, you know, and you're playing two very important players short. What does it say about what you've accomplished so far and what this team has you just we're just five and one right now. I mean, you, you can't get too excited uh, about anything yet. We we showed tonight. We still got a lot of imp improvement. We've got a brutal, very difficult schedule, but that's the way we like it. That's the way we want it. We're not going to uh, do it any other way. I just the guys have done a good job, and I think those ten days uh, they start buying in a little better. We really busted them t two a days that week. Um, got them believing in the game prep aspect of it and fighting a little bit for each other, and not worrying so much about. Uh, yourself individually, and again, we're. I think we can get a lot better at both ends of the floor. But right now, you're all yours you five and one, and you got a very good team that's seven and one. I don't even know if they play today, but they're seven and one. They're good. They're coming in here Wednesday, and we're going to have to play better than we did tonight to win. Any other questions? Yeah, Coach? a five-game winning streak together. You say you're just five and one, but you got to be feeling that at least in the locker room, the, the celebration after. Uh, I'm, I want the guys to celebrate every win because you have to do that. But as a coach, you're, I'm, I'm our, you know, I'm worried about North Texas. You know, I really am. And um, but those guys need to enjoy it. That, that, that was a that's a heck of a week. I mean, not, you guys weren't with us. Todd uh, traveled out there. That was rough. That was rough. And 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 for to do what we did out there. It uh, wasn't the best team on our schedule, but it's still a Mountain West team, and we, we took care of business without a very good player. And then to come back, uh, I hit the wall. After practice yesterday, I felt like a truck hit me, so I can't imagine how some of the guys felt. So that's a, that's a good, they did something this week, and I want them to be happy about it, but we'll get them right back focused on uh, Wednesday night here come Monday. Well, I mean, as you put the streak together, how have you seen kind of the, the culture, the work ethic in the locker room change? Well, it's it's what we've always had here, except for you know the last couple of years. It's 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 what we want, and it's frustrating as a coach, and it's my fault when it, when it's not the culture isn't where it needs to be, and your guys aren't fighting uh, and doing those. It's never been bad; it's just not good enough. And, and when you play a tough schedule in a great league, you're not going to win games uh, like you need to. And the big thing here is too is we're just our IQ is good, and we got good basketball players. Uh, we got a couple more coming here in December 16th, and I just like the way they fight. I like being around them every day, and as long as they play hard, we're going to win. You know, our, our our fair share of games, and, and they've been doing that. I want to ask you about Devin Thomas. The look at the plus and minus, and I know that doesn't always um, indicate exactly what went on, but sometimes it does. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's plus 18 there. He put 10 points on the board today. I mean. What did you like from his contribution? Or what we, he's he's got to be aggressive on the offensive end, you know, he, and he can't. He's not our best defender, but everybody plays small. 
and we can play small too. But for him to want to stay on the floor, he's going to have to be able to guard some some guards like Wampler tonight and, and being able to not give up threes and do those things so we can take advantage. He can score around the basket, and he's making free throws at a high – I think he's 84%, 85% right now. And we want him to be one of those scorers. I know you guys have asked about a third score here. He can be that third guy sometimes. Um, and it all boils down, you know, your role is what you earn. And Devin works hard at it. He's, he's earned pretty much of a role, but it's also who you can guard. And that's what's tough on there. And he's done a better job the last, last, last couple of games. You said you're already focused on North Texas these next couple of days of practice. What's going to be your kind of point of emphasis for the guys? That well, they need, the first thing they need to do is sleep all day tomorrow. Lots of fluids, eat, and just rest and rest and rest. We have to have two. We couldn't. We hardly did anything uh, full speed in practice the last couple of days. And our game day practice today was just a walkthrough. We, we, usually we go at each other. We got to get rested so we can get two good days of practice because we do have some things we have to clean up. And uh, North Texas is good, so uh, we're looking forward to it. You hinted at earlier, Coach, talking to Bronson, Tyreek, uh, and Devin yesterday. You all mentioned why this team's having success is what they do in preparation. Um, what where have you seen this team grow from Ball State game one to now in terms of your scout, in terms of your video, but also communication uh, is another thing that you preach to these guys all yeah. the time. Yeah, and you know we weren't after Ball State too. We weren't improving like we needed to really there for a couple games, and um, I think it, it's a lot of ways. Okay, and I, I'll give Coach Towns some credit because he did talk to him uh, during that break, and we talked about surrendering to the outcome. You know, and you may lose. You know, it's, somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. You know, you, you may win, you may lose, but so why would you not just completely uh, play your tail off and empty your tank? And then also the aspect of knowing your opponent. You know, we, the, my, the, my assistants, they work there. They're really, really good at the game prep and know exactly what they want to do and how to stop people. And But, but in the year as a 18 to 22-year-old kid sometime, you're in there, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And he talked about, you know, know yourself and, and know your opponent, and that's what we stress, and it's got to be important. I was no great player, so when I was watching a scattering report, I wanted to know I needed some advantages. So know what you got to do to, to, to take away strengths of people. And the guys have bought into it. Obviously, you've heard them say that, and that's a good thing because uh, that's what our culture has been for quite a while, and I think it's back to, to, to being able to be a good defensive team with our prep. Hey, Bill. Coach? Yeah. Uh, so you guys have so far had, coming into the game, had the best three-point percentage uh, in the nation. What we have tonight. Actually. So I was wondering if you have any concerns moving forward uh, as to how your team would react to a game where maybe you don't have that three-point shooting. Yeah, your defense, we talk about it all the time. You know, if, if you move the basketball, you're going to get good shots. And we got guys that can make shots. But shots not going to go in, in all the time. Your, your uh, defense has to be your staple. And you have to go get stops when you're, when you're struggling. Or JB can't get one. Or Tyreek can't get one. And you just have to grind it out by doing what you did on the defensive end. We, you know, I do some of that stuff here today. Um, what I like is we're taking less three-pointers and making more. You know, and that's a, that's a aspect of a pretty good offensive team.